to the Sidonis Borne, Rue Chanterin, Paris, Chancel, 24 Ventos, Year 4. I wrote from Chatillon, sending you a warrant of attorney on presenting which you will receive sundry sums owing me. They should amount to 70 louis in cash, 15,000 livres in assignats. Each succeeding moment takes me further away from you, adorable sweetheart. In each moment I discover less strength to endure this separation. You are the perpetual object of my thoughts. My imagination exhausts itself trying to form a picture of what you are doing. If I see you sad, my heart is rent, my sorrow ever increases. If you are gay and merry with your feminine companions, I reproach you for having so soon forgotten the dolorous parting of three days ago. You were flighty, and what's more, you're not touched by any deep feeling. As you see, I'm not easy to satisfy, but it is still worse. Sweet love, when fear strikes me that you are not well, or that you have reasons for sadness which I cannot divine, then I deplore the speed with which I am being separated further and further from your heart. I feel indeed that your natural kindness no longer exists for me. Yet, if I can only be assured that nothing grievous befalls you, I can be happy. If one asks me if I've slept well, I feel that to answer, I must have had a letter telling me how you have slept. Maladies, men's fury, do not affect me, except as I imagine they may affect you, my dear love. Could only my good genius, which has protected me amid the greatest danger, surround and cover you. I would forego that protection. I be not gay, but a little melancholy. Yet, above all, may your soul be exempt from sorrow, as your beautiful body from illness. You know what our good Ossian said about that. Write me my tender love and a good long letter, and receive from me a thousand and one kisses of a love the most tender and the most true.